Hey guys. Wow, has it been a while since I filmed a planning video. Hopefully this will become a monthly thing again. Let's plan on that. First of all, I cannot believe it is already going to be June. Happy Memorial Day, by the way. Where did the first half of this year go? Hey, not complaining, as it just means Christmas will be here that much sooner. Enough of all my rambling though. See how rusty I am at this? And on to the plan. This is all subject to change as we have all gotten very familiar with. Ready? <laughs> I know it's blank and I actually do have this first full week of June planned out, but I don't really have anything after that. And the reason for that is because I am taking it one week at a time, really more like one day at a time at this point, and I am getting help with my plan from the trainer that helped me make my training plan for my first full marathon. We're just taking it one week at a time, which I think at this point in my life is actually better for me because I can't dread what's ahead. And it also helps me plan my week without giving me too much anxiety that something's not gonna happen or get canceled or anything like that. So that's the plan for now. I do have quite a few virtual runs that I've signed up for that I haven't plugged in to any particular spot. So hopefully I'll figure out when I'm gonna do those and I'll bring those to you. But since my last video, I have ran a race and it was an actual real life in-person race. I know, crazy, right? And it was called the Firefighter Hot Foot 10K. It is a race I've heard of before, but I've never done and I had about an hour run scheduled for that day anyway. So I said, what the hey, let's do this. I ran that race four times just to see kind of where I was at. Not going to lie, I was maybe a little discouraged. It was certainly not my fastest 10K time, but I was encouraged by the fact that it was my first in-person race since my accident. And I did not stop during that race other than maybe a couple steps to make sure that my water cup didn't go anywhere. So I was proud of that. One of my favorite parts about this race was afterwards when a couple of ladies who I was going back and forth with on the course said that I kept them going and they obviously did the same for me. So that was another big positive of this race that even though I was a little let down by my time, I still had a great time. And to hear something like that, that made that race more than worth it for me. Plus seeing a firefighter running around in full gear, that's pretty awesome too. I didn't film the race, but I did get some video of the packet pickup and some pre and post race stuff. So check that out. Rice. Rice, all right. To the fire department pumping. That's pumping four back in the 1920s, I think. Cool. That's a cartoon of the original JJ Little Pumper, which is down in the museum. Banana never tasted sweeter. This race was unique. It did not give out medals. However, it gave out glasses. Everybody got a cup. And also, I won my age group. I'm not gonna tell you how many people were in that age group, but I won my age group. And for winning my age group, I got a special prize. And that special prize 
was this mug and it is a very good size mug. It's that camp kind of style mug, ceramic, and it has that same logo on it in maroon. And I really like that cup. Although my husband might take both of these from me and that's okay. I think I've got plenty of mugs to uh, tide me over for a while. That's all I've got. Please like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell two times for notifications. Bye guys. I need to pencil some ice cream in, but where?